What's up guys, right, it's your boy Swoozy, and there is like a dating phenomenon online, probably heard of it, Tinder. I personally don't have any stories about Tinder, but I mean, it's like swiffering the nation right now. So because I don't have any stories, I know there are crazy, ridiculous, out of this world stories out there. So we're gonna have a few, like literally, we had a whole casting and audition for this thing. We're gonna have the best ones that we've found. We're gonna bring them in for this video. And, uh, and see what's going down, what's hot in the streets with Tinder. Let's go. The first person we're bringing in, Shad, this guy, I don't know if his stories are just that amazing or just the way he tells it. I couldn't imagine being on a date with him. So how, how'd the date start? A magical land called Lancaster. Okay. 20 minutes, she says. Hour and a half later, I pick her up on a standard corner like you do in Lancaster. And she didn't have a parrot, but she might as well have had a wooden leg. Okay. Like there was a hobble. But she had she had big uh, musk melons. Okay. Her pepperonis were large. Big, super round eyes. So she invites me up to her place, right? And that's when things start to get a little bit weird. We're starting to get in the mood, but she likes to scream. A lot. Okay. And my hands are touching pepperonis. Got you. Her hands touching corn dogs. You guys are in the kitchen preparing all the ingredients. We're in the kitchen, but she's actually telling me like recipes. She's like, one pound of butter, six bags of flour. So when she's yelling ingredients you at me. You don't go back at that. Yeah, like a, a pinch of vanilla. Right. You don't want to be like, and stir it up, baby. Because then it triggers it even further. Yeah, so I was just like, okay, cool. I respect that ingredient choice. You can't make this stuff up, bro. You can't it write this. It was like a phone booth of crazy. And you did get to the waffle making. Uh, we did, yeah, uh, because I was already committed. So after we get done partaking in waffles, she starts whispering. But she's whispering the craziest stuff, man. She's whispering like, wouldn't it just be crazy if we just ran to Jupiter right now and got married? It's like, what? Just crazy stuff like what if the New York Yankees were called like the bus drivers would we still cheer for was them? Was this doing it for you? Were no, you like, no, okay. I was actually pretending she was the other date that turned me down. Got you. I'm a little hesitant to shake your hands, but all right, my oh, man. man. <laughs> On that note. It's been a pleasure, yeah. All right, bro, thanks for your time. Thank you. See ya. Next up we've got Jackie. Her story for Tinder, let's just call it strip and ditch. Take it away. So I matched with this dude. Mm -hmm. Memorial Day. I was bored mm -hmm. and I was drunk. Okay. Met him um, downtown at his house. Mm -hmm. He had like this roommate that just got out of jail. Could you see his room too? No, they, they were sharing. Sharing a bedroom. He had his shirt off. He was all coming out of his shirt. Like I guess he just got out of the shower or something. This that doesn't happen on accident weird. often. The convict or whoever that guy was was rolling with us. And as we're coming out, he's like, my one friend's coming. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And she's coming to meet us. I'm mm. like, okay, guys have girl Female friends. friends. Yeah. Us three were in the back seat. All of a sudden, I see a hand rubbing on this chick's thigh. Ooh. And I'm not talking about any old, like, a friendly love. Like brotherly, sisterly? No, no. I'm talking about making love. You can get it, love. girl. Like, yeah, like right now, this bitch wasn't here. Mm. We'd be getting it on right now. He was just rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. And I'm just huffing and puffing <laughs> and huffing and puffing. I'm like, So you leave oh. then? Well, it sounds, it sounds dumb, <laughs> but I left but my you were charger drinking. at his house. Oh, you can't leave a charger. Right, so I had to you stick had, it out. You're <laughs> committed. Exactly, my phone is my life. So I said, I'm just going to stick it through. Mm. And we ended up coming to this sketchy place. Mm -hmm. Strip club, nice. walked inside, dark, looked tacky looking, like nasty strippers. It was nasty. So at this point, I tell the girl, like, you know, let's go to the bathroom. Like, we need girl to talk. talk. So we were in there for a minute. So y'all, like, have a girlfriend up. moment. So we come out there, and then the is going. They left you. Left us. Bounced. Bounced. They didn't, like, Fill up a tab or anything, did they? No. Okay. No, I don't pay <laughs> nothing in strip club. Well, I mean, I'm sorry you had to go through all that, but I mean, you got a good Tinder story to share with all of us now. I don't, I don't. You don't like to relive it? I don't, I choose not to. All right, guys, um, I think I just got a match here. I don't know if it's gonna turn into a date, but I gotta go. Uh, thanks for watching. I uh, just, yeah, I'm, I'm out. I'll see you later, swipe right if you see me. Bye. Hi, it's Bridget. You heard him. Swipe right for Swoozie. What did you think of those stories? Pretty wild, right? Now it's time for you all to vote. Which story did you think was crazier? Click the left box for Shad's wild night out, and click the right box if you'd stick it out for your charger too. You can also click the links in the description to vote. And check out our homepage to watch the two other videos that got released on Field Day today as well. 
Yulin Kuang is a filmmaker who traveled across the U.S. to interview real couples affected by the Supreme Court's marriage equality ruling. And CS present inventor Bob Partington as he strives to make the slowest Rube Goldberg ever. Next month, we'll be bringing you another batch of three awesome creators all on the same day. See you then, and good luck on Tinder.